Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. One of the first experiences I had with video cards involved uh, not having a video card at all. In fact, it, the, uh, it was integrated into the motherboard, and I believe it came with uh, 8 megabytes of RAM, the, the video card itself. It was an S3 chipset. Uh, but I upgraded that to 16 megabytes of video RAM, and uh, doing that enabled me to not only have a higher resolution on my screen, uh, but uh, I was able to, or at least theoretically, as long as the screen could support it, I could go to higher resolutions. But more importantly, I could go to uh, bigger, deeper color depths. Well, if it's color depth, I guess it would be deeper. Uh, so instead of uh, having a desktop that ran in 256 colors, I could actually run it in 16-bit uh, color, uh, or if you will, uh, thousands and thousands of colors. And the difference between 256 colors and more uh, was pretty much like night and day. Uh, and this was, like, again, way, 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 way back when, and, and over the years, uh, certainly uh, video cards... Uh, became much more important for, for me because I would do a lot of work on the desktop and I'd always be running in a higher resolution and try to go with as a deep color depth as possible. Uh, deep color depth. I still don't, that just still doesn't sound right to me, but oh well. We had a question submitted by a YouTube viewer. It says, I have a MacBook and I just bought an HD camera. I noticed my MacBook, which I love, does not have an independent video card like a MacBook Pro. Do you think this may give me problems when it comes to manage HD files? Do you think I have to upgrade my computer or what I have is good enough? And in a laptop environment, a video card certainly is important. Uh, the differences between having something that's baked onto the motherboard, uh, uh, the video card that's built in versus a uh, and, and has shared memory with your system memory and one that's independent, like what would be in a MacBook Pro, uh, is well the one the video card memory that is used in in the MacBook is shared with the system memory, so it's not dedicated. Uh, it is uh, a dedicated video card, if you will. It's actually borrowing from the rest of the RAM installed in the system. And the disadvantages of that is, well, then you're losing all that much more memory when you are running anything because it has to share the memory. Whereas if you have a dedicated video card installed either in a laptop or a desktop uh, that's not using shared memory, well, it's completely dedicated to that and in many cases will perform better when you're doing certain things that are graphically intensive, playing games, for instance, or just doing anything uh, on the screen. I, I noticed over time, you know, with video cards, the more video RAM I could throw at the desktop, now this is, I believe, the same on Windows as it has been for OS X, the smoother things would run uh, because there's more memory to work with. Uh, now there's a law of diminishing returns certainly, especially with Windows, but one of the things that I used to do just to check performance uh, in, in a 2D space, specifically on OS X, I would open up a, a program like iCal and or just any any program will do and then resizing the window to see how smoothly it would resize and over it, when iCal was first released on 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 slower machines it would just kind of lag when i resize now when i resize it well and this is specifically on uh, my MacBook Pro which is a new MacBook Pro which has a, a not a dedicated video or it doesn't have a shared video memory. It's got a dedicated video card, and if I'm not mistaken, uh, if I pull up my system profile, I will give you the exact. I've got a GeForce 8600 MGT, 256 megabytes of dedicated video memory, and everything is smooth. I'm able to run it 1920 by 1200 resolution at 32-bit color. Uh, it's wonderful. Uh, it's It gives me everything that I possibly need and nothing It seems slow when I'm doing anything that may be graphically intensive on the desktop, whether that's resizing a window or even watching a video. Now in terms of uh, coming to manage HD files, I think, and, I, and this may be the consensus as well, um, the uh, you're going to be more limited by your processor, uh, the speed of the rest of your system and how much RAM you have and that's again where you may run into issues having the shared video memory with your system or regular memory uh, I don't know if you can call it regular memory, system memory uh, y you may run into some issues but not too much the more hardware you can throw at software the happier it's going to be 
for the most part. That's a, that's the general rule of thumb. Uh, I can tell you, running uh, a MacBook, Ponzi's MacBook, the white one that Dave Weiner uh, purchased for her after she helped him uh, set up his apartment, um, runs just fine. I haven't really thrown anything like HD video at it, uh, but I can tell you that uh, it's probably going to feel the same way for you as it would on anything. And when it comes to actually editing the video, on the other hand, I, I would definitely recommend getting a dedicated video card uh, rather than using shared memory. Uh, but as far as management and playback goes, I, I don't know. I don't think you're going to run into too many issues at that point. I think the MacBook is a is sturdy hardware, uh, good enough uh, for, for, for just about anybody uh, playing back video files. I don't think uh, Apple would let it slip through that, uh, let things slip through the cracks that much. Um, but again, you're, you're, you 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 got to make trade-offs. If you don't want to spend the extra money on more hardware, well, the MacBook's fine, or any any uh, laptop or system. If you're not going to push it to its limits, specifically, if you're not a gamer, then yeah, shared video memory is probably going to be okay. If you want a nicer experience, something maybe a little smoother, faster, um, you know, with just a little bit more power, or in some cases a lot more power, yeah, get a dedicated video card. But I say, uh, go with your MacBook, stay with it. When it becomes a problem, I'm sure they'll have new hardware available for you to pick up. Well, if anybody else has any opinions on this, I'm sure people have been making it in the chat room. Uh, it, uh, drop in, uh, let us know. Uh, le leave a comment, follow up remark. I mean, any other disadvantages or advantages of having a shared video card versus a dedicated video card? Um, it's kind of a black and white issue, but some people have different experiences, uh, by all means. Uh, suggest away. We're interested in finding out what you have to say. And uh, Lynn is uh, t typing in the uh, chat address, and I guess that means they want me to wind down. If you want to join our chat room 24 hours a day, we're here live at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.